All right, hello, fun, and welcome to my new Fallout New Vegas series of Working on the Chain Gang, which I am so excited to get started up on today because, well, this is a quest and adventure mod that was released for this game just back in January. So always great to see mod makers continuing to make cool content for these games years after release. And this isn't just adding in some quest, it's actually adding in sort of a splinter faction for you to join and deal with. And that, of course, is sort of revolving around the Powder Gangers, which is very intriguing because I never really did much with them generally when I've ever played this game in the past. In fact, I think once did I, uh, you know, take over Good Springs for them. Every other time I always go with helping Good Springs. Uh, and yeah, so I'm intrigued to see how this is going to expand upon them and create, like I said, a splinter faction that rather than wanting to become raiders like the typical powder gangers, are actually wanting to settle down and make a new life here in the Mojave, which is pretty cool. So we have ourselves a new character here in the world. We are at level four, I think? Yeah, level four, wonderful. And we're part of the way through the Ghost Town gunfight mission with the last thing I need to do to return to Ringo and, well, decide if I want to help the uh, people of Good Springs or the Powder Gangers. And I'm gonna do neither. Considering the fact that we're gonna be sort of doing things with Powder Gangers, I don't think I should make them pissed off at me, but at the same time, I also don't want to help them. Like I said, I've done that once, don't care for it. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to let that initial starter quest just sort of hang there in the world for the rest of time. And uh, start up, well, what we've got to do now here for this. So we're just south of Good Springs over by the uh, well things. And there's supposed to be a powder ganger guy over here that we need to talk to so let's find him i'm guessing that's it why are you cowering sir i didn't i didn't accidentally shoot at you did i i don't, I don't think i did yeah no no I, I just got here from good springs a moment ago hi you uh, Whit whitmire there we are hi hey there stranger what up well, no need for tension i'm just passing through oh, okay uh any reason you're wearing a prisoner's outfit Probably because I'm a prisoner. Uh-huh. Or at least I was until recently. Okay, okay, good. You know that big correctional facility over east of ways? Yes. The NCR was lax on security, so a bunch of us convicts are running around now. Free to run. Neat. And free to rob, apparently. Ooh, you That's don't want to, huh? powder gangers do is rob passing folk on the road. Okay, and he definitely does not seem to be okay with that, which, not the only one. I mean, I'm remembering from, God, long ago, again, never really did much with the Powder Gangers, but there were a few we could meet in the prison, weren't there, who just stuck with them because it was, well, basically for protection in this hellish wasteland. So it looks like this guy is uh, on par with that, not wanting to rob people. So yeah, why aren't you trying to rob me? I mean, I'd like to see you try. You'll die. That's because I'm not interested in playing Bandit. Good on you. I got a lucky break with that riot, and I'm not wasting that chance. Okay, okay. Sensible. My old cellmates are just going to get themselves killed once they piss off enough folk. Oh, definitely. NCR or bounty hunters. Probably. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> we could just straight up attack him, but no. No, no, no. That would end our new little adventure here quite quickly. So, um, got a name? Oh, the name's Whitmire. Indeed. Not like it matters. Boy, you're you're really depressing, aren't you? So, why were you serving time anyways? I ran with a gang back west. Old friends of mine from a small, nameless town. We'd run around and make a nuisance of ourselves. Uh-huh. Nuisance how? Thought ourselves real badasses for our grand exploits. Mm -hmm. So one day, we come across these NCR boys, fresh from a tour out here. No. Uh -huh. We thought we could take them, prove our mettle. Stupid. So stupid. 
Yeah, definitely was. Naturally, we got ourselves shot up. Those of us that survived were incarcerated and shipped off to different prisons. And you made it out here, eh? And I ended up out here. In the Mojave. Same place those soldiers were coming back from. The irony's not lost on me. As it shouldn't be. All right, well, let's see. Ooh, perception here. So, hey, why are you staying down here? I'm preparing to move south. There's a source of rad-free water here, which is worth its weight in gold. Very true. Plus, the geckos provide plenty of meat. Between the meat and the vegetation growing around here, I won't be starving soon. I'm running low on meds, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay, yes, but why are you down here specifically? Why not stay up in the town? Besides the fact that the Powder Gangers are currently trying to take it over. Well, things are tense up in town. Oh, very. I'm worried that strolling up there in this uniform will get me shot. Well, get yourself some new clothes. There's plenty of dead folk around the wasteland. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh... Oh. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, let's, I wanna, I wanna see this. Perception six, you seem a little too well stocked for a man making his way through the waste alone. Well, fair assessment. Truth be told, I hung around with a gang at one of those powder ganger forward posts along the highway. Uh-huh. I was afraid to be out here in the waste by myself. I mean, fair. But I couldn't stomach their activities any longer. So we parted ways. Okay, and you didn't th I mean, if you were attacking people on the along the road, you didn't think to, like, grab some of their clothes of the people you killed? I mean... Well, anything you need help with? Wait, was there anything else? Yep, nope, just that's the last one. You're offering your help? Uh-huh. Just like that. That's kind of what I do. I can't pay you, but... That's unfortunate. You still want to help. I could use a change of clothes. Ah, yeah, the uh, yeah, I, I uh, figured... A set of leather armor should do for my trip south. I actually have that in my inventory. <laughs> so, like I said, I just finished up uh, doing all the things up in Good Springs, doing all the optional bits, and I have a set of leather armor that I got from the shopkeeper dude who I never remember the name of. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Mighty kind of you, stranger. I'll be here then. I do still have that, right? I didn't decide to sell it. Because I was buying and selling a lot. Like, I did get myself a nice, uh, a nicer laser pistol at the shop. And they had a recharger rifle. My favorite gun in this game. Um, yeah, well, did I keep the leather armor? I did. Oh, thank God. Ah, oh, I need some, I need to repair my hat, though. <laughs> Oh, I also should probably talk briefly about my sort of plans for this character. Uh, of course, I did buy the recharger rifle and have the lovely new laser pistol uh, because I do absolutely love energy weapons in New Vegas, and so we're definitely going to be going with that. But since this is going to be sort of a powder ganger quest line, we're also going to do explosives. It's probably going to get me killed. But we're gonna give it a go. See what happens. Which didn't I... Oh. I thought I got some ex other explosives already, but I guess I didn't. I've only got the mercenary grenade launcher from one of the DLCs. Hmm. But yeah, so lasers for close range, explosives for long range. I am gonna get myself killed. Alright, well we got the leather armor for this guy. Ooh, did we, did we actually get a quest that we can pop here? Oh! <gasps> Yes, I don't look good in stripes. Find a set of medical supplies for Whitmire. A set of medical supplies? Wait, what? Oh, apparently I can go over there for said supplies. Oh, I think I saw those in the store. Ah, uh, there was a, yeah, there was a thing of like old medical supplies in there. Ah, uh, crap, do I have the money for it after I bought all those, uh, Bought the laser pistol and the recharger rifle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have the money for it. But yeah, let's get the optional thing. I mean, I always do like getting the optional objectives when I can. Granted, boy, howdy, it's really going to start making me low on uh, caps. Depending on how much it is. But yeah, it looks like heading into the store there. Hmm. kind of disappointed I'm going to have to get rid of this leather armor, though. I think I can use that to repair my... Um, 
armored vault suit that I'm wearing from the DLCs. I don't know, though. Oh, he's still waiting over there, hoping I'll help him take over the town. How dare you, Cobb. <laughs> oh, alright, alright, back into the shop. Put away the gun, I don't need it on me right now. I said put it away, there we go, there we go. Alright. So, into the Good Springs General Store. Buy ourselves some medical supplies. God, how much is up there you are, buddy? Hi! You looking to buy some supplies? Chet, why can I never remember your name? Can do. Of all the years I've played this game, you'd think I'd remember it. I'm gonna assume miscellaneous? Either that or aid. Discount medical supplies. Hey, 58 caps! Alright, that's not too bad. Neat. That better be what we need here. Give me a shout if you need anything else. It was. Oh, thank God. Optional return with the medical supplies? I mean, we're already returning to the dude, so why would it be optional? <laughs> Take it easy. Alright, I'm out. Later, Chet. Have a good one, buddy. Alright, about you do is there a hmm, hold on a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good spring source. Let's just fast travel. I don't feel like walking all that way again. And on that note, this is actually probably going to be a fairly long series. Did I ever loot you? Yeah, I did. Uh, considering this this whole mod has like a load of quests and new locations all the way from here at the start to like the mid-game. Like there's supposed to be some of these new Powder Ganger guys all the way up and around like New Vegas proper. So this uh, series is probably going to go on for a little while. And it'll be kind of a pseudo playthrough because we're probably going to have to do some other things in the world so that we can get money and experience but hello Widmire. sticking around stranger i mean not only sticking around but i've got hey here's your supplies yep because i don't want to give them the armor yet because that's the main thing oh well plus some medical supplies in case you need patching up oh okay what's the difference between these two i don't know i'm gonna go with some i thank you I didn't expect someone to show such kindness to a man they barely know, mm -hmm. let alone a criminal they bumped into. I did manage to think of a way to reward you. Oh? As small as it may be. I'm listening. And what is that after these sudden... <laughs> uh, sudden change there? Hey, I gained karma. Nice. It's a little kid I used back when I was on the chain gang. Oh. Well, it's... Mostly a bundle of dynamite fuses and some instructions. Ooh. You can use it to adjust the length of your dynamite's fuse, as long as you've got the tools on hand. Wait, what? Well, I suppose I ought to start making my way down to the long 15, then. Thanks. For everything, stranger. Mm-hmm. 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 Also. Oh, and one last thing. I saw okay. some guys from the prison snooping around that old skydiving place. Oh, just behind us. Okay, yeah. Didn't seem like they were looking for a mark, though. I remember them being among the more trustworthy men in the clink, too. Oh, cool. So my next point for the quest. Investigate, I suppose. Well, happy trails. And good luck, stranger. And good luck to you, Whitmire. Don't die. He, and he just disappeared. With a deep breath, Whitmire begins his trek down the road. You wonder if your pass will cross again. I mean, he's probably going to die, let's be honest here. And he just disappeared. Aww. All right. I don't look good in stripes has been completed. And he told us to go to the skydiving thing right there. Though before we do... What in the heck is that thing he gave us? Well, one, I do not have any, um, any dynamite on me, unfortunately. Oh, God, what was it called, and what is it gonna... God, I have a lot of things in here already. I'm only level five. How, or not even level five, level four. How have I already gained this much crap? <laughs> uh, oh, God, what was it called? Was it an ammo, maybe? That'd be weird. That'd be very weird. Oh, God, what was it called? I wasn't paying enough attention to when it saw, saw it pop up in the corner over here. Uh, huh. I wonder if it's just a thing that maybe when we throw dynamite that it... Like, we'll be like, oh, hey, what, what do you want a, the fuse to be? 
Which seems quite interesting. You know what? You know what? I'm actually going to look at stats and perks. No. <laughs> okay, okay. That's definitely a no. Huh. I'll have to watch that back later when I'm editing and see exactly what it was named and try and find it, because... I mean, I've probably passed by it already when just scrolling through these things, because I don't remember what the name was. But oh well, oh well, I'll figure that out later off cam, and uh, we'll come back to that next episode. Uh, for now, though, let's go check... Oh, actually, hold on a moment. I need to use this campfire real quick. Uh, yep, I can make some more healing powder. There we go. I couldn't cook any of the meat I've got on me? No, not brum and steak. Oh, probably because my survivability is too low. Yeah, that'll probably do it. That'll probably do it. God, I don't even remember what meat I have on me, but I know I've got, like, a lot. All right, all right, over to this thing. He led us, or at least told us, where to head for our next little bit of uh, info with this quest. So I'm excited. Let's go check out what other powder gangers may not want to be a part of the gang. I mean, I know we got some, like, proper powder gangers down here, including a box of dynamite, but it's steel. <sighs> I, want, I want your dynamite. I need your dynamite. I don't have enough explosives right now for my build. <laughs> okay, into here. Oh, hi, you don't normally exist in here. Same with the rest of you. Well, hello, Jefferson. You eyeballing me? I am. That all you say, huh? All right, what about you, Lyle? Hello, I'm Lyle. Oh. Love your gun, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, hey, that's an interesting shotgun you got there. Modified it yourself? Here's my shoddy. It'll have me to pop cats in the ass as many bugs as you try to square up with me. I've uh -huh. only shot one problem with it. But still. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I like you. <laughs> so, how'd you end up in prison anyways? I heard right now, baby. about shotgun, Brumman. Some school children, God. I oh, God, what? Perhaps it's better you don't understand the full story. <laughs> so I had to put her down. And the craziest thing happened. Mm -hmm. The school bus comes by, and I spray problem brains all over the first year old kid. Oh, so well, that's not too bad, actually. You can kind of understand them. They're not the kid. They're just in therapy. Oh. Pussies. <laughs> uh, I like you can, like, half understand him. Uh, so he... Shot a Brahmin as the school bus was going by and splattered Brahmin brains all over the kids and now they're in therapy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Love your shotgun, though. So, hey, what'd you do before you ended up out here? I used to raise chickens, but they were all killed by the chicken nugget gang. The chicken I'm nugget gang? What? I'm out here farming stupid plants. They don't love you like the chicken does. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> That well, okay. The only thing I understood in that one was Chicken Nugget Gang, and I have a feeling that wasn't right, but it probably was because he's meant to kind of be funny. But hey, good talk, Lyle. I like you. His thoughts are already elsewhere. Love it. Love it. And I love that so far everyone's voiced here for this. All right, so he don't talk. We've got oh, a star bottle cap. Sweet. Skydiving key. What was that for in here? Oh, God, where was... Hmm. I'll talk to you in a moment. Ooh. I'll take that. <laughs> Need more things to sell. No, yeah, I already looted this uh, uh, before when Damn. I was starting out the game. Running low on smokes again. Quiet, you, Jefferson. You didn't want to talk to me anyways. Any lawman that comes after me won't have it easy. Yeah, sure they won't. Sure they won't. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Hi, Ramirez. Hold it right there. Keep it calm and civil, and so will we. What's your business here? Well, I'm looking for a quest. <laughs> I love that we can just straight up attack all these guys. I mean, there are powder gangers and all, so we know that they're all criminals. But, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I was told some convicts broke around here, and I thought I'd investigate. Who the hell told you about... <sighs> Never mind. If you didn't open fire on us immediately, then you're not with Eddie. Mm -hmm. Since you're not with Eddie's crew, then I got a job offer for you. Oh, do you? Some risk, but should be manageable as long as the boys at the correctional facility don't want to gut you on sight. They currently don't. 
Uh, I'm up for it. What's the job? I need you to investigate the nearby prison. Got it. You hear of anything that threatens their position there, report back to me. Wait, but it threatens them? What? You might have to do some busy work for them before they'll trust you with anything that could threaten their position. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But once you hear of anything potentially useful, report back to me for your payment and the second part of the job. Anything you need to know? Well, uh, apparently I... Oh, no, I had some questions about the job. There we go. I'll answer what I can, then. Alright, so who are you exactly? Name's Ramirez. My crew and I are out here on a job, for which I'm subcontracting you. Oh. Well, that was brief. Well, we could tell Eddie, but no, no, I'm gonna be helping these people. So, hey, tell me about your crew! Lyle and Jefferson. They're trustworthy. That's all you need to know. We've known each other for a long time. Do, do you understand, Lyle? I mean, I know you're all escaped convicts. Then you know all you need to know right now. We can discuss the rest later. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, why can't you investigate this yourself? We were, but Eddie grew wise on us. He didn't take too kindly us probing for weaknesses in his men's loyalty. Said if we showed our faces again, he'd hang our bodies from the towers. Okay. A fresh face like yours won't draw as much suspicion. I think it would actually probably draw more, considering, you know, new person. <laughs> what type of in information should I keep my eyes peeled for? Potential mutinies. Worries about NCR reprisals. Cholera on the water supply. Anything that weakens their position in that prison. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything that could convince Hetty's men to abandon him. Oh, I like it. I like it. Uh, okay, okay. So, why do you want Eddie's men to abandon him? Because then they'll be open to joining up with us. Okay. Apparently that's all I got. Yep, no more questions. I'm ready to get started. All right. We'll be here waiting. Sweet. Later. Oh, God, where... Also, yeah, where, it is, where does that key go to? <laughs> Ooh, weapon repair kit. Missed that one. Hmm. I don't know. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, God, why did I just see... It? Why is red? Why is there red? Why is there red? I mean, it's not supposed to be a kill. I mean, it did say we could kill. All right, so quest here. We've got... Work for Eddie to discover a weakness in the Powder Gangers, or simply kill Eddie and then tell Ramirez. We'll, we'll work for him, because like I said, I've never really done much with the Powder Gangers, and when I did long ago, honestly, I don't remember any of it. So we actually are going to go and help them in our Powder Ganger playthrough here, I guess. <laughs> or we could double-cross them. But no, 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 work for Eddie, work for Eddie. So I did already get over there, so we could fast travel, but... Let's go across the waste just in case there's something interesting that we could loot, perhaps. You know, I should actually check on our way. There were some of the, um, Powder Ganger posts. Maybe we could get ourselves some dynamite. I do need some explosives to actually do my character build. <laughs> I mean, we're already at the prison, so never mind. Never mind. I think the outposts were the other direction on the tracks. Oh, well, we should hopefully be able to get some, uh... Dynamite in here. Alright. So what do we got here at the prison? I genuinely don't remember a thing. Anything in this? Nope. Well, we could sleep, but no, 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 no. We'll check the other RV. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Dynamite and long fuse dynamite. Uh, that appears to be it. Alright. Skeleton. How do I get in here? This way. Alright. Let's go down the road right here. And yeah, talk with Eddie. Help out the Powder Gangers. Learn what's going on here. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. I Because, I, again, I really don't remember anything about this place. It's been so long. Oh, hi! Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Mm -hmm. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? Hey, so what is this place? This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here. Just slave labor. Mm -hmm, One mm -hmm. day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. 
Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Okay, okay. So who's in charge of the place now? That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. Get it. Uh, hey, what exactly is a powder ganger? That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Good times. dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it, got it. So, what'd you do to end up in here? Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? I have. It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. Mm-hmm. If you're free, why are you sticking around? We've got I the know biggest, some people. baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. I mean, have you maybe thought about making a little garden in there at the very least? Can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Uh, son of a... I'm, I'm, re I'm, uh, I'm really losing a lot of caps here, but okay. All right, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. I got weapons. I'll kill them all. <laughs> all right, bye-bye. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever to you two. Oh, man, I'm going through a lot of caps to get this whole thing. Okay, a lot of used alcohol. Okay, well, into into the place we go, into the visitor center. Oh, I have a random powder ganger uh -huh. that looks exactly like the guy outside. Can I? Oh, nope, it's all steel. Never mind. Never mind. All right, let's go talk to Eddie. Do some work. Oh, over here, over here. Oh yeah, look at you got plenty of room out here to start up a little, a little farm. You know, start growing your own things. Stop hiding all the caravans all the time. And also, for the love of God, clean the place up, people. <laughs> Stuff strewn everywhere. I mean, geez, have a little respect in your home. <laughs> no, it's all steel. Ah, oh, it's all gonna be steel, isn't it? And just powder ganger. You oh. me? Oh, you're a named one. Well, let's go talk to the big guy first. Oh, nope, that's not stairs. Light on. Nope. There we go. Alright, so let's be careful and not accidentally... D <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Hello! Doll said he let somebody in. Mm -hmm. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Uh... <laughs> what do you need done? This is Powder Ganger territory. My territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez mm. formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? Hmm... I was just trying to think of the na the guy we, we were sent here by. That was Ramirez. <laughs> so I was confused, like, wait, are we going back to kill the guy we just got this quest from? Uh, <laughs> but no, no, that was Ramirez. This is Chavez. Different person. You only want me to deal with him? Chavez is the ringleader. Without him, his crew will fall apart, and I don't give a shit about those guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky... And he's careless. He might still be there. Get it. Now we can tell him about Ramirez, but no, no, no. How'd you end up in this place, buddy? Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. I mean, geez, fine. How'd the breakout happen? It was all Cook's idea. He and his boys managed to swipe some dynamite and hide it away in their cells. The rest of us just tagged along. Cook's crew headed north while the rest of us stuck around for payback. Okay, okay. So, how about this prison here, huh? The NCR called it a work release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. Neat. They got sloppy, though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite, and look who's in charge now. Indeed. So, what do you know about Cook? One mean son of a bitch. Really, truly hates the NCR for some reason. And he got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. And where is he now? He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. All right, well, I'm definitely not telling you about Ramirez. Bye-bye. Yeah, get out of here. Got it. 
And that, I think, is a good place to end this episode today. So we need to get their trust and uh, find the weaknesses here of the Powder Gangers. And to do that, we're going to need to do I Fought the Law and Deal with Chavez. Now, where is he? Oh, hey! By a place I actually know. Neat. Probably shouldn't just teleport straight there because we'll be in the middle of the people we're going to have to go and kill. But, um... All right, all right, we'll go handle that next time. So that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and yet do come back for the next when, uh, yeah, we'll deal with this Chavez character. But until that time, thank you for watching this always. Evening. We'll have a good one.